Welcome to the Daily Review. Let's Fed Ray Zach, senior trading strategist here at CM Trading. And today is May 29, 2027, and today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, we're watching NVIDIA do it once again. Rallies to all-time record highs and breaks the barriers. But first, looking at today's major economic events. So all day today, out of Germany, we have a preliminary CPI number coming out. Now, looking at the various markets, starting out with the four symbols, the British pound did retrace from that resistance ish level and jumping into the indices, the Dow Jones sold off while the Nasdaq remaining mostly unchanged. Now, looking at commodities, gold caned just bouncing off of those lows while natural gas is setting itself up with a nice right triangle, which does seem look like it's going to break out on the upside. Now, looking at the stocks, they were mostly mixed. And lastly, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin continues to drift sideways. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. Here we go with the British pound breaking lower after hitting that resistance this level. Now we mentioned this yesterday, okay? It's got this bona fide resistance. I'm gonna highlight it. It's not gonna be a thick enough, but you could see it. That red line at 127.86-ish level, yeah, it hit probably 128-ish level, just shy of it, and then retraced. It's working on automatic trading almost, okay? Now, it's not to say that it might not break out higher, but for right now, it's pausing and retracing just a little bit. Now, jumping into commodities, gold, bouncing off of that lows, as we expected from 2300. That's not a big bounce, but still a bounce nonetheless. But where's the activity? Activity is in crude oil, right back to our resistance ish level. It's been trading within this range for a long time. And this was just an easy layup trade. I mean, we mentioned this the other day at $76, <clears throat> was a supportish level, and that was where we bounced off of. And sure enough, that's $4 later. And just on one lot, that's over a thousand bucks, just like that. So easy trade right there. Looking at natural gas, this is what I'm talking about. You can't see it so clearly, but it's got this formation over here, all right, where it's looking like it's a right triangle. You could see that a little bit clearer. There you go. That's a straight line there. And then you've got the angle, okay? So you got something that looks like this, all right? Now, that is generally an indication it's going to break out higher. If you pay attention to the volume, anytime it's sold off, it's making higher lows. And every time it's sold off, it was on lower volume. Those two elements. So I do anticipate this to break out sometime in the near future, maybe even today. So keep an eye on this. And this might be a really great trade. Now, jumping into the U.S. markets, all right? The Dow Jones slid lower, okay, over 200 points. Again, nothing to write home about. It's just, it's, it's trading within a range. It did hit that 40,000 and then retrace right afterwards. So, you know, it's 1,200 points lower, okay, which is a decent move on the upside, on the downside. RSI is getting close to its oversold level, so I do anticipate some sort of bounce coming up at a certain point. Now, looking at the NASDAQ, also just a little bit lower, nothing really to, you know, write home about because the stocks have been trading up, all right? I mean, look at NVIDIA, all-time record highs, 1132. It even gapped up even higher and gapped up and went, okay? So, you could say that traders are pushing this higher. You can say whatever you want, okay? It's it's going up right now, okay? And it's backed up with volume. So this may see itself to a $1,500 stock. I don't know, okay? AI is expanding. That market is yet to be seen how much money is in it. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Now, jumping out to the others, nothing really jumping out at me. Facebook did get stronger, okay? I'm watching this because it's Filled in the gap. I want to see if whether or not it's going to continue going up higher and see if that's going to continue being strong. The Bank of America is having a hard time with this resistance ish level every time it hit that 39 ish level. So we're seeing some resistance here. JP Morgan also having a hard time with that 199. And we are going into the summer. Sell in May and go away. That's the saying on Wall Street. And that's always been the case. So with that said, I do expect lighter volume and the markets to be drifting. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin trading sideways at $68,000. Again, it's just drifting sideways. There's no real character to this right now, so I wouldn't touch it. But there's some really good opportunities, natural gas being one of them today. So look at that. This is Fed Rezac. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.